this one go first. Okay. What is this? Okay, the first step is we need to create uh, one VPC, right? Yeah. So I'll create a VPC first, successfully created. So now I'll do an action, go to VPC. So create VPC. So I'll put a name NACL and I'll give the same range 10.0.0 slash 24. I'll pick a total 256 IP address. Okay, then create a VPC. Uh, successfully created a VPC. I'll go to subnet, I'll create a three subnet over here. Okay. So let me go to VPC again. So this is my subnet one. And uh, this is my subnet two. And this is my subnet three. So the same setup I'll create, but only this subnet only can access. When I'm accessing from the subnet two, I would not be able to access. Okay. So consider this is my uh, critical servers or whatever it can be critical servers. Okay. And this subnet, my managers, they're handling this, uh, this servers and this uh, uh, service is managing my employees and all. So the employees, they should not access my critical servers, but the managers, they only should access my critical servers. So those scenarios, we can use this NACL, right? Concepts. Okay. So uh, I'll create three subnet now. So same as I will mention the range. Then I can put this image in WhatsApp group. You can just use the same command. 24. So here I will use 10.0.0 slash 26. I'll be get 64 IP address. So here I will use 10.0.0 64 slash 26. I'll be get total 64 IP address. So here I will use 10.0.0 128 slash 26. I'll be get 64 IP address over here as well. Okay. So next I'll go to uh, VPC. I'll create a subnet. Go to subnet. Create a subnet. Select your VPC, NACL VPC. Select your subnet 1, I'll put subnet 1. And the range 10.0.0.0 26. Come down, add a new subnet. So let's select subnet name, uh, subnet 2. 10.0.0.64 26. So subnet 3, so I can put uh, subnet 3, right. 10.0.0, 128 slash 26 fine. So now I created three subnets. Create a subnet. Okay, successfully I created three subnet, right? Successfully created, right? Okay. So now I'll do one thing. Uh, I'll go to root table, then I'll create one root table. Okay, only one root table, please listen. I will only create one root table, then I will Associate all root table with one root table. That is enough. Okay, we not required multiple route table. So go to my route table. Yeah, already have a route table over. This is my route table, main route table. So I'll put a NACL. So select this route table. Go to subnet association. Edit subnet association. Select all your all your subnets exactly. Okay, successfully selected all my subnets. Then go to this NACL again. We have to uh, create a route to internet gateway, right? Okay. So I'll go to my where I where I have to go. Okay, I have to go to internet gateway. I have to create an internet gateway. So create an internet gateway. IGW. So create an internet gateway. Okay. So attach to VPC. Select your VPC name NAC. Only have one VPC. Select your internet gateway. Successfully, I created uh, this NACL, right? Okay. So now I'll go to my virtual machine, then I'll try to create a three virtual machine on it. Okay, then we go to EC2, California, launch instance. Attach here now. Attach here, in the bottom of the matter. See, go to route table. So create a route to internet gateway. I'll show you that. See, go to NAC again, route, edit route, add a route, 000, zero, zero internet gateway. That's it. So go to instance. I will create an instance. This is my subnet one. Select Amazon Linux and create a key pair. I don't have any key pair. So select create a new key pair. You can select California. I'll put just Cali. That's enough. Create a key pair. Successfully downloaded a key pair to my download directory. Okay. 
I'll select my VPC, select Vernacular VPC, make it enable public API address. Okay, done. So enable SSH port, that is enough. Or else if you want, you can make it all traffic. Okay, all traffic. Launch instance, successfully done. So go to instance again, you have to create second virtual machine, right? So this is residing on my subnet 2. So select your key pair. What is the key pair? Cali. Edit. Select your NACL VPC and select your subnet 2. And uh, make it enable. Then all traffic. Launch instance. I need to create one more virtual machine. I'll go to instance. Launch instance. Subnet 3. I'll select key pair as Kali, then edit, then go to NACL, subnet 3, then make it enable, select your uh, port all traffic, launch instance, that's it. Now I created three virtual machines, right? Okay, let me just uh, cross check once again. I'll go to instance, so go to subnet 1, so if you come down, you'll be able to find, so VPC NACL, subnet 1, right? If I select this subnet 2, you'll be able to find VPC NACL and subnet 2. If I select this subnet 3 virtual machine, you'll be able to find VPC NACL and subnet 3. three. Right. Everything is okay. I'll try to connect my subnet 1 instance first. Connect. Connect. It's definitely will be able to connect. Let's see. I am able to access server number 1, subnet 1, right? Okay. I will connect my ECT instance again. I will go to subnet 2. Connect. Connect. <coughs> I am able to access subnet 2 as well, server 2 as well. I will go to my ECT instance again. I will try to connect my server 3. Go to server 3 and connect. Connect. So this is my virtual machine 2, this is my virtual machine 3. See? So this is subnet 1. Here you can see subnet 1. And this is subnet 2. And this is subnet 3. Right? Okay. So now I'll go to my this picture again. Okay. So now I created three subnet and this three subnet is associated with one. Okay, one route table that is okay, that is fine. Okay, one route table. So I successfully connected this all with one route table. Let me just add one route table, right? Okay. And this route table <coughs> is routed to Internet Gateway as well, right? Yes. Okay. And I have an ACL as well. See, actually first uh, when I'm accessing from my local machine to this virtual machine. So it is going through this NACL, right? So NACL will be situated over here, right? So now I have only one NACL. So when you're creating your uh, subnet, you will be get one NACL. If you want, you can create multiple NACL as well. I'll show you that. If I go to my subnet, if I go to my subnet, so go to your subnet. So here you will be able to find one NACL. What is a NACL? Okay, NACL. Are you able to see this? Yes. NACL. So I have a NACL VPC over here. This is associated DD1 NACL, right? So I have a NACL subnet 2. So this is associated DD1. DD1. So I have a uh, NACL VPC. This is associated DD1. DD1. In the sense, this three subnet is associated with a one, one NACL. So what I will do here, I'll go to uh, this NACL. So whatever the default NACL I have, I will associate this NACL with my subnet 1 and subnet 2. Okay. I will create one more NACL custom NACL, then I will associate with my subnet 3. three. And I will create a rule 10.000 slash 64 slash 26 this IP or this network only can connect to exactly. Okay. If I go to my virtual machine, let me try. I'll go to my virtual machine first. Oh, this is my virtual machine. So this is my virtual machine subnet 1, right? Okay. From subnet 1, I'll get the subnet 2 IP address, copy this IP address, go to subnet 1, 
copying paste i am getting reply right okay from subnet 1 to subnet 2 subnet 2 okay so now i'll take subnet 3 copy ping i am able to access right see i will make it clear this first three subnet right three subnet so now this subnet 1 is able to communicate with subnet 2 and able to communicate with subnet 3 right okay same as if i put a uh, ping space uh, this ip address i will be able to access right same as this will be able to access this right so let me try so i'll try to ping from subnet 2 to subnet 3 so i'll do this subnet 2 to subnet 3 so this is my subnet 2 right okay what is my virtual machine 3 ip address 160 right okay let me go to my subnet 2 ping private ip address i am able to access right see so i can access from this server to this server this server to this server i want to restrict this server access i want to restrict this server access and i want to allow this server access again okay so i'll go to nacl please listen now you guys have to listen okay i'll go to my uh, subnet first okay so beneath you will be have an option network acl are you able to see this network acl i'll click network acl so i have it a, a two acl one is dd one that is associated with how many subnets how many subnet three subnet so i have one more acl that's my default vpc acl right so i'll create one more acl for custom for my uh, subnet or custom acl create a network acl so this is for my protect okay i'll put something protect or whatever you want okay i'll select a vpc nacl vpc okay then create a network acl fine okay select this network acl okay select this network acl select inbound okay because i need to mention inbound and outbound port right okay see denied by default denied right add a new rule so i will put rule number 2 we can start from rule number 1 but we cannot put rule number 0 and we can put up to how many rule number how many rule number 32000 so that we can put okay i'll show you that see suppose if i'm putting 56 lakh uh, this rule number custom tcp ashik 0 allow save change so what is the error i'm getting over here can anyone what is the error maximum maximum i can have 32766 what is the minimum one one i can have a one i can put two as well i'll put rule number 2 then save a change okay so now i will go to outbound rule edit outbound select add a new rule i'll put it rule number 2 again all traffic save a change so actually we supposed to put this subnet ip address right ha uh, no. uh. okay edit inbound rule okay i'm sorry i'm sorry so instead of all traffic we have to put custom tcp what is the source what is the source 10.0.0 64/26 right yes. 10.0.0 64/ 26 save change inbound successfully added i'll go to outbound now outbound destination eh outbound destination okay same same i have to do 10.0.0.64/24 then okay 26 sorry save change successfully created one network acl then uh, here you can see the associated with zero subnets i will click action then we have edit subnet association edit subnet association we have to associate with the subnet 1 no subnet 2 or subnet 3 ha eh? subnet 1 2 3 3 3 3 3 3 see i need to create a custom rule for 3 subnet 3 right so this rule i stated ha eh? id 3 o'clock 3 o'clock Okay, see, listen. 
See, I need to create a custom uh, NACA OVA uh, successfully created, right? What is the rule I defined OVA? Anyone? Huh. 64 to 127, okay. Hello. Hello. Right. So this this network ID or this network range only can access this subnet. So whatever the network uh, uh, like range is coming, accept this network ID. So that will be denied. So let me do over here. <laughs> I will select subnet three, then save a change. Okay, see now you can see that. So this DD1 that associated with DD1 associated with eh? DD1. See, listen, listen. Associated with DD1 2 subnet. See, we already discussed what is this point? Uh, where we can have can allow. Hmm? One minute. Eh? See what is this? What is this? Can uh, we can only attach one NACL at a time with the subnet? Or if you attach it with any other NACL automatically, the first one will be detached. The latest one will be attached with it. Okay. So now I'll try to access. I'll go to my virtual machine. So this is my subnet one, right? So this is my subnet one. See, this is my subnet one, right? Yes. Ping. What is my third server IP address? 160, right? Mm -hmm. Copy. So this is my subnet one. Subnet one to subnet three. Let me try. I am not getting. Right. I'll go to my subnet two. Now I'm a subnet two. I will use the same private IP address. See, ten dot ping ten dot zero zero one sixty, right? Hit enter. And you'll be getting the replay. Right. Right. Okay, and one more thing. I'll go to my subnet 3. This is my subnet 3, right? See, previously I was able to access this subnet 3 from internet. In the sense I can able to access from my local system, right? So now if I'm trying this system, so you'll be able to get a error over there. See, let's try. Hmm? Let's try. So we should be able to get an error. Why? Why? See, now I'm not able to access the server from my local system. But previously we were able to access this system. Uh, uh, sorry, for this virtual machine from my local server. Why? IP. IP. We already defined IP address. That is 10.000. So previously I was enabled 000 000. That's one. See, now I can access these two subnets from my local system. But I cannot access this subnet from my local system. So this subnet only can access from that particular this particular subnet. Very simple concept. Right? Yeah. Okay. So if any doubt, please let me know. Then we will uh, clear right away. Then we will call. Any doubt now? So, uh, zero, zero. Ah. Full zero. Ah.